I'm Deb Albers, Secretary of the Davenport Chapter Number 268 at Davenport, Nebraska, and a 35-year member of the Order of the Eastern Star. I am going to begin with a quote. They are more precious than rubies. Who am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about our Imhoff awardees, of course. They are some of the most precious resources in our chapters. First, let me take the time to congratulate each of you that have been members of this great organization for more than 50 years. You are to be commended on your steadfastness to an organization that has as its goals brotherly love, relief, and truth. You have my deepest admiration and respect for the devotion you have to our order. You will see a listing of people on the screen and you should know at least one person on that list. This is the list of Imhoff awardees. The Imhoff Award is named for Mary E. Imhoff, who is the very first worthy matron of Nebraska. She served from 1875 to 1876. This award is given to an Eastern Star member in good standing with the longest period of membership. The Imhoff Award is celebrating 10 years this year as it was voted into the bylaws of the Grand Chapter at the 2011 Grand Chapter session. The Imhoff Award is similar to the Jordan Medal Award given in Blue Lodge. However, unlike the Jordan Medal, which goes to the Lodge member with most years of service in Nebraska, the Imhoff Award goes to the Chapter member with the most years of membership in Eastern Star regardless of the jurisdiction where they were initiated. This presentation was inspired by a picture I posted on the Order of the Eastern Star Facebook page. It was of Peggy Smith, Davenport's Imhoff Award holder. She was celebrating her 92nd birthday and having a great time even though her assisted living home in Hickman, Nebraska was under lockdown due to COVID-19. Sister Peggy was initiated into the Order of the Eastern Star in the Hebron chapter in March of 1953. That makes her a 68-year-old member. That's longer than I've been alive. She transferred her membership to Davenport because she lived closer to uh, Davenport in a place called Carleton that was only six miles away. Peggy has served the Order of the Eastern Star in the offices of Worthy Matron, Associate Matron, Ada, Esther, Conductress, and Associate Conductress. Hmm. Now that I think about it, Sister Peggy was the associate conductor who escorted my husband, Tragen Albers, past Grand Patron when he was initiated into the order. She loved my phone call last week, and we visited about what new was happening in the chapter and in Davenport and Carleton. She said phone calls from her family and friends is what helped her get through the lonely days of COVID-19. It is important that you take the time to reach out to your Imhoff awardee as well as other members who can attend chapter meetings. It's not just the job of the chapter secretary or the courtesy committee to make those contacts. It's up to every member of our chapter. A phone call or a call can brighten the day of anyone who is lonely. 
Now even a visit may be possible. Peggy told me she was excited that now she's able to have company. See those names on the list of Imhoff awardees? Each one has a story to tell. Each one may be an untapped wealth of information to share. These stories are just as precious as the members are. They are more precious than rubies. Thank you for letting me